<laughs> the Maverick will release a state secret this evening. Shh, shh, shh. The Red Stripe Premier League begins on Sunday. <laughs> oh, serious. The almost invisible build-up to the new season of the Premier League is an index of the desperate and dire straits facing the domestic game in Jamaica. The clubs are struggling badly. The league itself are run by autopilot. There is no promotion, no marketing, and very ordinary quality right now. Believe it or not, if the president of Montego Bay United, Mr. Arvin Powin, don't come out and talk up some things and ruffle some feathers, whether I'm a boycott the final or I'm a boycott the start of the league, if Popo don't come out and cuss up somebody, the Premier League don't get a hype. <laughs> <laughs> right now, a Popo are the biggest star in the Premier League. <laughs> and look, this constant bickering that the league is not sustainable and needs to be restructured and it cannot go on like this and blah, blah, blah. It's over 20. I've got 30 years the league will go on like this. <laughs> and maybe we should just face up to the harsh reality that Jamaica cannot afford a top quality football league. We don't have the infrastructure or the economy to sustain a viable football league and the football product itself is simply not good enough to attract meaningful and sustained sponsorship. Maybe we should just become a selling country where we export the young players at the earliest possible stage and stop hanging our hats where we can reach them. <laughs> <laughs> and if that is the case, when we are shout that I make nice man. Stop Stop the shouting, man. Stop the shouting, man. <laughs> <laughs>